Hey, it's Justin here again with another Mortgage Minute. Uh, this week's topic is gonna be rate lock. What is a rate lock? What does it mean? And how does it work? So with interest rates, you can't lock in a rate until you have a property under contract. So when you get pre-approved or you're out shopping for a home and you're checking rates, rates change every day. You don't actually have a rate. When you're pre-approved, you don't have a rate. Um, you can't get a rate locked in again until you're in contract on a property. The rate gets locked with the property. So if you do lock in a rate with a property and you fall out of escrow or you cancel on that property, it does not go with you to the next property. You start all over and you're stuck with wherever the market's at. So the thing about rates is they do change every day. Um, if somebody comes to me and says, you know, what's my rate gonna be if I buy a home? That's like saying, hey, what's the Apple stock price gonna be in maybe 30 days, maybe two weeks, maybe a couple months, I don't know, whenever I decide to you know, buy it. There's no way to predict that, right? So it's really hard to compare rates um, when you're not in contract. Once you're in contract, you could actually lock a rate in and a rate lock, it locks in that day's rate for you. There's typically 30 day locks, 45 day locks, 60 day locks. The longer you lock it for, the more, expen the more it's gonna cost you for those rates. Um, and then the other thing is, you know, when you're in escrow and you could actually lock a rate, that's the time you could compare because then it, it could actually get locked in and that's the rate you're going to get. Um, the thing about locking your rate though, is if the market gets better, if rates get better after you lock it, nothing, there's really not much you could do. Most lenders can't do anything. We do have what's called a float down. There is a way that if the market goes down at least a quarter percent, that we could lower your rate if that happens during escrow. So there are some protections in there, but those cost a little bit as well. But the benefit is if rates go up, you're not in a situation where you think your payment's gonna be X and then at closing, the rate's higher, the payment's higher, a rate lock protects you from that. Anyways, it's a ton of info, but that's what I'm here for. If you have any questions on it, let me know anytime and I'll talk to you soon.